Hey everyone, this is Chris Keys for Premier Guitar, hanging out with Zah, the guitar tech for Sinister Gates and Johnny Christ. How you doing, Zah? Good, how you doing today? I'm doing very well. We're in your dark little dungeon here. Hopefully yeah. we got enough little light to yeah. show everything, but... Uh, yeah, I got a trusty flashlight. That'll help, that'll help. Yeah. So let's start with the guitars over here. Diamond Series, uh, Sinister, Sinister model. Um, we're playing all the same model, just different colors, and there's three different tunings. Um, the, the different thing about these guitars is the Sustainiac pickup, uh, a mic, couple micro switches, and um, that's it, basically for guitars. I mean, they're all the same. No, you know, no. What specials. tuning's this one on? This one is uh, drop D. There's, uh, yeah, the other tunings are um, uh, we call C sharp, but it's drop D and then down half step. And then there's standard tuning, we just call it E, you know. So there's three tunings. I have three main guitars. Uh, like I said, same models, uh, different uh, radio packs. And then I have a fourth um, fourth uh, radio pack that uh, we use kind of for the solo. It's a little bit shorter strap, you know. This way you can really get in there and, and play. Uh, Is there anything variation between other than tunings or strings or anything between no, the different models? Just or tunings. Or? Uh, just the tunings are... Uh, Different, and there's just a couple different colors in hardware, you know, I mean, the other one was black and silver pinstripe, this is gold, it has gold hardware, gold pinstripe, there's one over here that has, uh, it's white, it has gold hardware, gold, uh, gold pinstripe, so I mean, they're all the same though, basically. And they all have the, what is, what's in the bridge position, I know the Sustainiac's in the neck, but. Sustainiac. What's in the bridge uh, for the pickup? Which is um, uh, Seymour Duncan, um, I think Invader. What gauge strings does he use? Uh, 10 through 52. So light, to or light, tops, heavy light bottom. top, heavy bottom, yep. Okay, so. Uh, what about guitar picks? Just, just a guitar picks. He uses uh, these uh, very thick, heavy Dunlops. You can check them out. They're uh, pretty thick. I'm not sure what uh, gauge, you know what I mean? Do you know why he prefers a thicker pick? Um, it's this this one personal, personal, personal preference. preference, you know what I mean? Can't go wrong with that. It passes into my uh, AT wireless units. I have, uh, and then they're divided up into the switcher. So there's a, each frequency for, uh, say, e uh, each tuning in tar, and then I have a spare. Uh, I chose not to run a whole lot of frequencies at one time because, you know, I'm just battling frequencies frequencies with the monitor guy and sometimes it becomes a hassle you know so anyways uh, I'm sorry I was just gonna ask you do you ever get too worried about being too close to the hot box up here in case people are wondering the noises they're hearing it's the pyros oh, that's no, happening oh no, no, man it's actually um, <laughs> you cooler warm? down here than when you're off stage oh. you know I mean it gets heated up off stage you know I mean off stage I should say off left where I no was normally located but you know on stage it's hot right, fuck with the pilot. So it goes through uh, the wireless units into the uh, multi-selector, <laughs> which I select, uh, you know, whatever guitar, you know, I, ha I have it into tuning. Some guys have them numbered, you know, and they flip-flop straps. I flip-flop a couple. I choose to flip-flop a couple rather than throw another wireless in, like I said, because, you know, I'm not a fan of running, you know, a million frequencies out here. Okay, so then it goes through the, uh, the switcher, the selector, goes into the Rackmont Crybaby, um, I place two pedals out on the stage, one on his pedal board and one um, a little bit off stage left. So he could choose which one he wants to use. And then it goes uh, out of the crybaby into the Hellwind head, which is uh, Sinister's, Sinister's model here that Schechter made. Um, I guess uh, you got the lights. So uh, this is Sinister Gates Hellwind uh, model, it's 100 watt. It's, uh, it's great, it's real versatile, it has um, it's a three channel head. It has uh, two dirty channels, high gain channels. It has a clean channel, but with uh, two voicings. So you can get two, uh, two yeah. different sounds out of it. What are the it, sounds that he gets, or what are the voicings kind of leaning towards in terms of two different sounds? I like it. Oh, you know, I mean, one's more of a fatter, cleaner, or one more a fatter, warmer tone, and another one might be a little bit brighter. You know, I mean, I, I, I didn't, you know, I don't know what he was modeling him after, you know what I mean, personally. But, um, so I'm just explaining the amp here. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, uh, sorry, there's two, uh, two channels on clean. There's uh, an effects loop, 
which we have programmed in uh, all the time because for a, what we're running for effects is the Fractal XFX2, okay. which is uh, awesome, you know, and he chose that. I mean, it's a nice unit, and he wrote some custom scales in there that sound really fat. You know, this amp, um, the amp is awesome. Underwater, I mean, it gets all the tone and balls from this amp. It's really nice. Uh, like I said, there's the effects loop, there's the, uh, there's, um, the boost, um, you know, that's easy, easy to program MIDI, you know, it's just a tap of a switch, really, and hold it in. Uh, there's a focus knob, you know, that just kind of tightens things up a little bit, loosens it up. And the cool thing about it is there's a gate, a built-in gate on there. And, uh, it, you know, on the high gain, it just helps out tremendously. And uh, when you go to a clean uh, channel, it bypasses the gate, which is awesome, you know, and... Um, how does he have these set up in terms of, the, you, you pointed out the focus switch. Oh, it's just on normal, you That's know what I mean? It, yeah, it's yeah, it's normal. And then uh, and then we run from, the, like I said, we just run the effects loop on the Hellwind for the Fractal, and uh, which is controlled by the, uh, by the uh, MFC 101 Fractal unit. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's sometimes we put the, um, you know, I keep one on the board, a Wawa, and then I place one just a little bit off stage left for him. And, uh, is there when he goes through the patches? Are the patches designed for each song, or are, are they for yeah. just for well, sounds? No, that he gets? some are like I said. Some are some patches are designed for the songs, you know, which are the custom scales, and the other ones are, uh, you know, just your basic fat, Sound. dirty, and your fat clean. You know what I mean? You, you know, which he gets all that from you know the Hellwind, and uh, it's all run into a Hellwind cabinet, which is over here in this ISO box. A Hellwind Schecter uh, Hellwind uh, 412 cabinet, and it's in an ISO box. So uh, because every, all the guys are in in ears, and we don't have any amps on stage, and uh, the sound is isolated, and um, you know you can gain up the mics, and not pick up any ambient noise, and uh, you know crank crank up the amps, and it's nice. And it's off stage, and uh, it's fairly quiet, you know. And uh, so all the guys in the band are in ears. Uh, I'm on in ears myself. And um, that's basically the guitar rig. Okay, this is a set list, and I, you know, I have it broken down because I take care of two guys basically in the band. So, uh, anyways, there's the tunings. Here's my little notes, you know. Um, the bass guitars are up here. And uh, that's my strategy for the night, basically, you know what I mean? Keep things straight. Yeah, that's how I keep things straight, you know, I keep things going. And Well, do you mind taking us through Johnny's gear quick, too? Yeah, Johnny's got the uh, Schecter basses. Uh, all, all, you know, they're like I said, they're kind of like um, Sins guitars. They're all the same model, but they, um, they, uh, they're different tunings, you know what I mean? And so, uh, and there's also uh, EMGs in here. And there's, uh, in the center position, there's uh, a guitar pickup, which is kind of cool, a little bit different. He was looking for kind of a, you know, kind of a growly sound, you know what I mean, for a couple songs. What and, songs uh, does he use that for, do you know off the top of your head? What songs he uses a guitar, specifically the one with the guitar pickup in it? Uh, well, the, it's a blend. Okay. So, I'm saying basically, you... he starts out with it blended in the middle, and... Um, you know, there might be a couple certain times where he uh, bumps it up to the guitar pickup, or but pretty much, you know, he likes the combination, the blend of both. You know, relic key sunburst. Uh, you got your master volume, you know, your bass, your treble, and then your blend for your pickup, which is your guitar pickup there, and then your EMG bass pickup there. Which, which uh, EMG sure, is that? I'm not even sure what model. You know what I mean? So. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure really what Johnny put in there. All the same models, different tunings, three different tunings. The same, yeah. Yeah, same, basically, you know, just different, just different artwork, really. Goes through the same wireless units, through the same switcher. Comes out of the switcher, goes into a couple of DIs here, which we get from Dunlop. We got one for clean, one for dirty. And then uh, we come out and uh, we go into this P-split, and I just have one kind of hanging out for a spare. And uh, I'm not using this noise gate, so that doesn't matter. Really. And I got one hanging out for a spare. Beef up the clean tone with this uh, Galleon 2001 RB. And the Fusion 550 is just a spare that I have in there in case, you know. But I want to get another uh, 2001. Yeah, the main one. 
So we get a clean DI sound, uh, and then we get a DI sound um, dirty with the chorus. You know, the only effect is a chorus he uses in Bad Country. You know, I pop that in and out for him. And that's it, really. So there's like two direct sound, two two DI sounds, a clean and a dirty, and then uh, you get beef up the clean a little bit. I guess the sound guys like it. I like it also. Is uh, with the 2001 RB. And that goes into a galleon ca cabinet out here, which isn't in a uh, ISO box. So, you know, it offends some people sometimes because it gets kind of loud. Do you do the switching too for Sinister, or does he do that all front? No, Sinister does uh, all the switching out front, you know what I mean? I got two guys, and, you know, and with Floyd's too, and sometimes, you know, it would be, uh, I would hate to miss a cue because I'm dicking around with some kind of Floyd or a bass issue or something, you know? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Todd. Thank right. you. Hey, my pleasure. You know, thank you guys. And uh, wish I could have been more detailed and everything, but uh, that's what the internet's for, right? True story. Go online and look it up, man. Buy a helmet head and check out the gear. It's all top notch, man, for sure. Because if it's on the internet, it's real. Yeah, uh, man. That's what they say. <laughs> all right, we're over here with Billy. Billy, how you doing? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Billy's a guitar tech for Zachy Vengeance. So we're over here by the guitars. You care to talk to us about what Zachy's using? Yeah, he uses all Schecter guitars. They really uh, take care of us pretty well. Give us pretty much whatever we want. Um, these are his main guitars. He's a lefty, I'm a righty, so that's why I'm holding it upside down. Um, yeah, Schecter makes these for us. Um, they do a lot of cool custom work for him too, but this is pretty much standard stock, what you can buy if you were to buy his, custom, his, his signature model exactly how you get it and um, I don't know if they've got the pickup engraving on the customs but Seymour Duncan pickups just the same I believe in the do you know which, which particular pickups are on this one I believe these are JB's we they give us a lot of different we've got a couple that have hand wound pickups from them I'll show you some of that yeah I know they're getting their custom shop kind of really up and going yeah. too and then but that's that guitar is for um, his drop D tunings, okay. and that's his main for drop D tunings. And this is his main for his drop C sharp tunings. These they relic for him. And it looks just like stage wear, and they've got like all that. They give you a good like belt buckle rash, and they feel really good. They a lot of the his um, binding comes like already yellowed, and he really likes these. These are his mains for. Drop C sharp. It's main for his E standard. He only played one E standard song, Buried Alive, but this is his main for that. And it's another custom color from Schecter. It's flat green. And um, yeah, and they all have the 6661 on them. This is a custom one from Schecter. He plays this in E standard. And it's the only one we have that's got string through body. And he's got another camo one that they made for him that's got uh, custom wound pickups from them. They're like, I believe they call the Schecter Blade or something like that. But, um. What does he like? Has he ever converted or conveyed to you what he likes about anything particular with the string through body versus, you know, the other ones? You know what? The string through, he hasn't really played this that much live. He, he started as with well, this as his main, and then we started, we switched over to that one. Um, you know, he didn't really, and plus he only plays one song in the set in, in um, E, standard, so, I mean, he hasn't really said that he likes the string through better or not, but it's supposed to just be a better sustain. It's the only one that he has that's string through. Everything else has a stop bar. I mean, they do so much cool stuff, but yeah, the inlays on this, they, they've got really good guys working in the in inlay shop over at Schecter. I've seen, I mean, they put his switchblade logo in there they put all kinds of stuff for him and we've also got a guitar with a Floyd Rose on it we haven't been playing it on this tour so it's still actually locked up it's only played on one song it's in C sharp and it's played on little piece of heaven but they haven't been doing it on this tour so I haven't really had to deal with the uh, Floyd Rose at all. Leave the Floyd business for yeah. Sinister. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, the Floyd is actually easy. It's like, takes a little bit more time in, in setup, but then like the the 
staying in tune factor is pretty awesome. You know, you can like dive bar dive bombs all day on that thing, and it doesn't really go out of tune. And we've got an acoustic as well, and we haven't really been playing on this tour. If you were to play, which songs does he bring it up? Okay. Just one song, Seize the Day. Here, I'll actually take this. Yeah, you just, I keep it on top of my vault just because you never know. They could decide one day, oh, we're going to put it in the set, so I always keep it ready. But it's another Schecter, and they did the same. They uh, did a lot of checking and stuff on it to make it look worn. I believe this one might have cracked at one point. No, we've got another one that cracked at one point, and they have fixed it. Yeah, it pretty much, and that, they'll also do that with any of their guitars. Like, at the end of a touring cycle, they will refurbish everything. They'll put in new electronics, and they'll put in new electronics, and all kinds of stuff. They're, like I said, they really take care of us over there. So checking's good, cracking's bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's the great great thing about these Relic guitars and all of the hardware that we get. It makes it looks worn, but it's not. So it used all the moving parts that are supposed to move are still functional like but you know when a guitar really does gets old like the, you know, bridges don't move, tuning pegs and everything get like rusted. And, but these actually just look old but act brand new. All right, he's sponsored by Jet City, and, and Doug over at Jet City, like, he really takes care of us as well. Like, I've had him overnight amps to us before when we needed them. And we've got a 100-watt and 50-watt switch on them, so they're pretty cool for bands that don't have ISO cabs. We've got ISO cabs, so we leave it on the 100-watt setting just because it doesn't matter how loud it gets. And, um, but if you didn't have an ISO cab, you could put it on 50 and get it to break it up at a lower volume. And they make custom name badges for us. It's the Vengeance Switchblade logo. He plays a chorus pedal. That's just pr pretty much for the clean part in Bat Country. It's got a custom comp and um, Scott over at Dunlop really like takes care of us with pedals and stuff like that and straps, anything we need pretty much. He's got a decimator that's his um, noise reduction unit just because with the high gain and like throwing your guitars around you want it to be clean stops yeah. and so it keeps it like where it's really crisp and clean stops and everything is run through this ground control unit and he's pretty much just got one main setting that's his lead as lead setting just dirty with a compressor on it and a noise gate the decimator and he's got a clean setting which is just the clean tone on the amp no no pedals nothing and that's pretty much just in Buried Alive. He's got a lo-fi pedal, which he uses in Almost Easy, and that's just, I just hit that, and there you go, Almost Easy, lo-fi pedal. And then for Backcountry, this will engage his clean tone with a chorus pedal. I just have him labeled, because just so I can always see it, yeah, glow in the dark. Are both amps on at the same time? No, he's only using one amp. The other one is a backup. I can show you his ISO cab if you like. Yeah. These are ISO cabs. We um, tend to just keep them in these boxes so we can crank it as loud as we want. Our front of house guy and our monitor guy don't have to fight over the stage volume of the guitar. And also it's good for consistency because these mics, you know, they stay in place. They're not going to get touched by anybody on stage. Nobody's going to really move them. And it's really, you get a consistent sound. What do you say your drink now, I guess? Or not your drink, but their drinks. It's now that the oh, cabs I've are gone. A, I've just got a little uh, case I use as a bar up go. on stage. Yeah. And we're actually, um, we have a Marshall cabinet in there right now. But... Um, we're, we've got a Jet City cabinet waiting at our storage space. Classic 30s. Okay. Yeah, same same speakers. It's just like we wanted to try the Jet City See, because, you know, I mean, it was engineered to work with that amp. So uh, we just haven't been home to, to the <laughs> space to switch the cabinets out. Yeah, but um, yeah, the ISO caps make a huge difference, though. And we've got Audio Technica as our wireless provider we just um, he's got four different frequencies going and each one it's like this is for his drop D main guitar and his drop C sharp main guitar and this is his E standard main guitar and then all the backups are gonna be on the fourth one 
and so I just switched through here. It's got a multi-selector, so it'll just, whichever tuning it's going to be in, I just hit the button and there it goes. Dunlop is our pick provider. Again, Scott, we just usually order them and they do custom logos. You know, it's got his Vengeance logo. This is why I haven't really had to order, worry about ordering picks. We've got quite a surplus right now. But uh, we still do sometimes. We, we had a lot of the old ones and we changed up the logo for the new rec when the new record came out. And our strings we get through Ernie Ball, skinny top, heavy bottoms on all of his guitars. And it helps with the, the detuning. Like the, the drop C sharp, you know, if you don't have the heavy bottom, it kind of gets flubby. Tends to get, yeah, flubby. It keeps it a little tighter. Thank you very much for taking the time for uh, walking You're us welcome. through Zaki's rig. This is Chris Keys for Premier Guitar. If you want to check out more rig rundowns and other videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.